Rocco, it's always nice to start the second half with a win, but when it's a game like this, when your bats had to be a bit patient and battle there, but you also have a dominant performance from your bullpen, to see it all kind of come together in a win, what does that say? It was a, it was a great way to start out the, the second half. Um, we did a lot of things right. We faced, uh, we're obviously facing a very good team. We faced a very good starting pitcher tonight who's throwing the ball well. Clevenger has um, great stuff. I think we battled them well. Um, we did what we had to do to stay in the game and stay in a good competitive place um, and then take the lead and hold it. Uh, I think we could point to a lot of different um, a lot of different guys tonight that, that did positive things um, in, in tough situations, tough circumstances. I mean, what our bullpen did tonight was, was uh, absolutely huge. I mean, they, they carried us to a win. Um, and, you know, we, we did what we had to do offensively. I mean, I thought the at-bats were good. Uh, it wasn't one of those days where we were going to, you know, score a ton of runs, but we, we continually just kind of forced our way into situations, and then eventually one of those situations uh, worked out for us. Pretty fitting that it was Jorge Polanco to have the big hit here in the ballpark where he just was an all-star not a few days ago. Yeah, I mean it's it's just a it's just a, another good swing that that he's put on balls and um, you know he's obviously produced uh, a ton for us this year. Um, guys that have years like that, like he's having right now, you know, you hit balls and get a ton of hits. You also you know hit a bunch of balls good and don't get hits. I mean he just squares a lot of balls up. Um, this was one of those balls that you know obviously found some some green out there um, and just it made it happen. Hey, Rocco. Uh you convinced that Kepler was safe before Nate gave you to go ahead? You know, I don't think any of us on the field are ever really convinced of anything anymore because, you know, you find that as many times as you think you're certain about a play, um, you know, a lot of times we find out we're wrong. So that's why we have replay. Uh, it worked out great. We knew it was a close play. We knew it was one that... Um, you know, you're not you're not 100 percent sure which direction it's going to go. You think you know. It seems to be uh, leaning in your direction, but um, Kep got down the line good and and kind of uh, you know forced us into a spot where we basically had to challenge it. And truthfully, the situation of the game right there puts you in a spot where even if you're truly not sure, you probably need to challenge the play regardless and and give yourself a chance. Um, ulti ultimately, we did think he was safe, but it was really close. In the fourth, um, well, I think he uh, he was throwing the ball extremely well again early on, and then in the fourth inning, obviously gave up the the homer. I think on a on a changeup that was you know probably not not ideally located, um, and then after that, basically just um, maybe going away a little bit from the things that got him to that point in the game. I mean, he threw the ball. So you really couldn't ask him to throw better to that point in the game. And uh, I think he has, again, he has the stuff. He has the ability. He has the ability to command. Um, he can get right back on track. Um, I think when we hit those kind of rough spots, you know, f finding ways to get right back on track is, is really the, the question. We've seen him do it before. Um, I, tonight was one of those nights where he just didn't find it he just didn't regain what he had earlier in the game and in that inning he you know he obviously wasn't throwing the ball as well as he can but he threw he threw a lot of pitches and there was just a point where we just wanted to make sure with it we we got him out of there um you know we don't like to leave guys out there when you know obviously they're not uh you know not feeling it really not where exactly they want to be but also there gets to be a, just a purely a, a number of pitches and just the, the workload of the inning where I think it's the right thing to get him out, and that's where we were. But, you know, we turned to we turned to Trevor, um, and then, shoot, we went to Harp, we went to Littell, we went to... I mean, these guys just came in one after the other, and they were all doing exactly what they wanted to do. They were throwing the ball great. They they kept us in the game, and ultimately, you know, our offense scored the runs, but ultimately our bullpen won the game for us, I think. First thing consistent is Trevor's had some command at times issues, but it seems like up against Lindor, he's, he's had some good success and, and run into these kinds of moments a lot over the last month or two. Really. Yeah, I think he enjoys those spots too. I think he really does. I think he gets into those, um, gets brought into those situations, facing uh, you know the really good guys and in, in key moments. Um, 
then I think he kind of he ramps it up and I think dials in and focuses very well in those situations and I think he enjoys it and uh, we've seen that we've seen him come into some tough spots um, get big outs for us and and that was really the beginning of it I mean we were at a spot in the game right there where things were really not going the way we wanted um, and he just came in and kind of settled everything down and kind of shut down what was going on on the other side and we needed that we needed it at that moment and we got it